Hello my dear students, welcome back to a new lesson of English language proficiency program. How do you feel today? I hope all of you are ready to learn our new lesson. Do you know what is the important lesson we are going to learn today? Here we are going to learn phrasal verbs again. Okay, we already discussed some phrasal verbs, right? Today we are going to learn some phrasal verbs which we can use in our daily conversation. Okay? Don't write while I explain those things. Okay? I'll give you time to write. Okay? I'll give you the notes and you can write after the class. Okay? So, we are going to start common phrasal verbs in English. Okay? Number one, passed away. Passed away. Have you heard of the word passed away? What is the meaning of that? Yeah, its meaning is died. Died, okay? He died. He passed away. Namla marichu and the lane pagara namuk passed away in the phrasal verb use. Passed away, okay? His brother passed away yesterday, okay? Then, second one, play up. Play up. As I told you, if we know the word meaning of the verb and preposition, phrasal verb is the combination of verb and preposition, right? So, if we know the meaning of both, we won't know about the phrasal verb. So, here its meaning is misbehave. Misbehave. Misbehave means moshaita behavior. We can use play up instead of misbehave, okay? So, for example, be careful, Tommy may begin to play up. Tommy may begin to play up. Tommy may begin to misbehave. Okay. Then third one, speak up. Speak up. What do you mean by speak up? You may know the meaning of speak and up but its meaning is talk more loudly example tina could you speak up i can't hear you could you please speak up i can't hear you means could you please please talk louder i can't hear you then fourth one pick up on pick up on it means notice, notice, sraddhika, okay? Pick up on means sraddhika. For example, did you pick up on his sadness? Did you pick up on his sadness? It means, did you notice his sadness? Avande sadness sraddhicho. Okay, so notice means sraddhika. Pick up on means sraddhika, okay? So, Example, did you pick up on his sadness? The next one, fifth one. Fifth one, act on. We know the meaning of act and we know the meaning of on. But it's not the meaning of act on. Act on means effect. Badika, effectia. Okay. For example, don't smoke, it affects, sorry, it acts on different parts of our body. It acts on means it affects on. It comes as a subject, so we use this form, acts on, okay. Don't smoke, it acts on different parts of the body. The next one, sixth one, come after, come after. You may get the meaning. You can guess the meaning from the word. Come after. What is the meaning of that? Tell me. Yeah. It means follow. Follow. Follow here. Okay. For example, I will give you directions. Come after me. Okay. Come after me. I will give you directions. Means follow me. I will give you directions. Okay. Did you get? Okay. 
the next one seventh one bring forth seventh one bring forth may be a new word to you right forth bring forth can you guess the meaning you may not don't worry i'll give you the meaning okay bring forth bring forth means create create okay create what do you mean by create create ya undaka okay create so can you tell me an example by using it just make an example of your own okay i'll give you an example he has the ability to bring forth new items he has the ability to create new items so he has the ability to bring forth new items okay you see example clear okay then eighth one came up came up what do you mean by came up came up means appear what do you mean by appear appear student came up before the teacher or student appear appears before the teacher what do you mean by that pratikshapada okay pratikshapada allengil munnil vanna nikka so he came up before a judge he came up before a judge okay got the meaning the ninth one keep away keep away keep away means avoid avoid olivaka okay keep away mari nilka olivaka nokkana to for example he tried to keep away from danger he tried to keep away from danger means he tried to keep away from danger means he tried to keep away or tri- he tried to avoid danger okay clear okay are you here okay so let's go to 10th one cut out cut out cut out what does mean by that cut out means arrange 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 here okay cut out means arrange arrange clear no need to write now i'll give you time to write it's the time for you to listen to the class and learn all those phrasal verbs okay you have to apply all those ph- phrasal verbs in your speaking and writing so cut out means arrange okay arrange example the party was cut out for him the party was cut out for him was arranged for him okay cut verb 1 2 3 are same cut 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 okay clear have you got it did you understand
so my dear students i'm going to give you today's activity form form one sentence using those 10 phrasal verbs okay we learned 10 phrasal verbs okay passed away play up speak up pick up on act on then come after bring forth then come up keep away cut out okay we have learned 10 phrasal verbs so you have to make one example one sentence by using all those 10 phrasal verbs okay just as i did okay i have given you one example right so you have to make an example of your own by using all those phrasal verbs clear okay then what you have to do yeah you have to read it and of course you have to record your voice okay i'm going to wind up today's class i'll see you soon with another interesting lesson thank you all have an amazing day